Who's he? Wait at the bar. This is no way to greet an old friend. You kept me waiting here for two weeks. Christ. It's Paris. See the sights. I'm here for work. There's a lot of ground to cover. Difficult terrain, remote, so... They want me to send someone with you. Two men is a security risk. This is an important job. There's no room for mistakes. So don't make any. Must be very nice for you. Not to need anyone. The client is Red Leaf, a military biotech. They're after something extremely rare. You're to bring back biological samples, blood, skin, hair, organs. As for the rest, make sure no one else can ever find it. What Redleaf wants is very valuable. But only if they have exclusive ownership. You're looking for something most believe is extinct. The rarest, most elusive creature on the planet. The client has evidence it still exists. If so, it may be the very last one. The client has reports from a reliable source. Two confirmed sightings in the past year. Until now, these sightings have been kept secret, but word always gets out. We have only a couple of months, maybe less. After that, there will be competition. Perhaps there already is. Hello? Hey, what are you doing? You can't wake her up. I'm Martin David from the university. Hello, Martin David. I'm Seth. He's over the bike. Mom said we should show you to your room. Come on.
Bob sprained up. Nah. No fucking power. Excuse me? There's a generator, but it stopped working. You gonna fix it? I've got a lot of equipment. I need power. Yeah. Used to work, then it stopped. Dad says the fucking fuck is completely fucked. Where's your father? Gone away, up there. He'll be back soon, though. He'll fix it if you can't. There's water in the cold tap. Oh, and the toilet's outside. There, mate? Uh, just need to use the restroom. You want a drink first? Right. B? Sure. to rent a room. No vacancies. Not even one small room? Well, regulars, mate. Livings. I can pay double. Pay triple if you want. Same difference. Are you? Are you? You want a room? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can't have one. <laughs> <laughs> You're from overseas, aren't you? So I'm uni. You got a room? I can pay. <laughs> the thing is, mate, uh, we don't really like greenies around here. So unless you want to join your mate, Jared fucking Armstrong, fuck off. You're up, Dougie. Come on. is not what I expected. The communication may be a problem, so I'll call when I have something to report. Ever listen to music? Sure. My dad likes the boss. Who? The boss. Bruce Brinstein. He 
rocky rocks. Shouldn't come in here without knocking. Are you looking for my dad? No, I'm researching Tasmanian devils. What if you see him? You'll tell him to come home? I'll be up 12 days, and then I'll come back for two days to resupply and do my paperwork. If I'm not back Wednesday next week. Take this when you go up. You can keep it for a while. He's my dad, and we gave him that for his birthday. That's what he looks like. Okay. Double four point three zero four. Those are my 25. coordinates. They're points on the map. Now listen, when your mother wakes up. I know. Remember. Twelve days. Jack's here. My soldiers! Jack! Hello, Princess. Hello, mate. Ah, oh, there he is. G'day, Jack Mendy. Martin David. How's it going? How's the room, all right? Yeah, it's fine, thanks. Yeah. Any problems, you just let me know. I'll sort it out. Oh, it's a good spot for you here. It's quiet, convenient. Now, the black from the university told me you needed a guide. Really? Yeah, I can take you up there, no, no worries. I, I wouldn't want to put you on. No, 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 it's not a problem. You get your stuff. You can follow me in your truck, all right? Hey. Blockade the screenies, protesting the logging. Jarrah started all that. The children's father? Jarrah, yeah. Not a lot of time for Jarrah, he's a good black. Eco warrior. Where is he now? He went missing last summer. He was out doing his university work and he never came back down. Didn't the university tell you? Different university. Anyway, it was a bloody nightmare. His search and rescue was out for two weeks. Not a trace. And his wife? Lucy's not doing too good. She's, I don't know, 
I'll do what I can to help. Your rent money will go a long way. This is all earmarked for logging. So, what is it you're studying? Devils. I don't know why they're pests. Still, makes a change. From what? Well, we get a lot of tourists this way looking for the Tassie tiger. Reckon they could take a bit of a day trip and find an animal that's been written off as extinct. What do you think? I heard one once. Ow, 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 ow. I was a kid, I was out trapping with my dad. 50 years ago, but I still remember it. Every now and again, some clown reckons to seize one, but no one can ever prove it. Not a Sunday stroll up where you want to go, Mr. David. There's a part of those highlands never been mapped. Well, satellite maps are right, but it uh, doesn't mean anyone's ever been there. What do you think happened to Jerry Armstrong? He slipped, he fell, broke a leg, froze, starved, and then the devil's got him. Eat your life, you give him a chance. Odd, though, not to find a trace. Well, it depends if anyone wanted a trace left. Made a few enemies, Jerry. He's a foreigner like yourself. Wanted to save the trees. The logging trees, the only reason there's any people here at all. Or a town. So you can imagine when he arrived a few years back, he's about as popular as a snake in a sleeping bag. Indeed, Mr. David. Thank you, Mr. Mindy. I'll take it from here. You what? I'd like to go on alone. You sure it's a... Yes. I'm sure. Oh, well, suit yourself. It's uh... I'll leave you to it, then. See you in a couple of weeks. And watch your step.
Hey. You're back then. Did you get what you needed? Sort of. See many devils? Yes. Sick or healthy? Healthy. Oh, well, don't let me stand in your way. Just brought round some supplies. Your dinner's in the kitchen. Is that your father? Which? Oh, yeah. He did it. Why is he scratching his head? He's not. He's looking for something. But he'd never guess what for. A way out of here? A tiger. Really? A tiger? What kind of tiger? A Tasmanian tiger. A Tasmanian tiger? That's very interesting, but you know, they don't exist. Do so? They're extinct. Oh, no. My dad saw one last summer. It's a secret. You must have told somebody about it. Somebody else besides you. Have other people seen it? I don't know. Ask him. Hey, ma'am. I hear you've done some research up on the plateau. It's devils, right? Yeah, that's right. Very cool. I'm free, by the way. This is Simon. How's it going? Hey, you should stop by sometime, man. We'd love to hear about your work. I'm sorry, but I won't have any time. You're not using traps up there, are you? Steel traps? No. I won't do that. Thanks. I bet you helped your dad, too. What is that, a uh, little monkey face?
Okay. Here goes nothing. Where did this come from? It's her prescription from the doctor. Jack Mindy brings them. Your mother doesn't need these anymore. So no more, okay? Okay. Go run a bath. up tomorrow. You're gonna have to take care of your mother. She's gonna feel sick. Okay. Give her lots of tea and water and let her rest. Okay? You can't come with me.
You know, these are extinct. They're gone. I don't know what your father told you, but he couldn't have seen one. Come on. Okay, if I see one, you'll be the first to hear.
Where's your mother? In town with Jack and Mindy. She's better now. Did you find anything? It's not my dad's. Until I'm finished. Nah, the water will be cold. And besides, Dad says when we have a bath, it's a shame to waste all the hot water. Well, I'm not your dad, and I don't think your mom would like this. He tells a story. I don't know any. No? No. Not even one story? No. What's she singing about then? She's just singing. About what though? People never sing about nothing. Nobody I've ever met has sung about nothing. She can't sing a song about nothing. So, what's she singing about? He's back. I'll better come in. I'll be fine. I'll see you soon. Thanks. to waste the hot water. <laughs> you guys hungry? Yeah. I'll get dinner ready. Tiger in the trees. Which trees? There are lots of trees up there. The winter's up here is something else, especially when the snow comes. Shiraz? No. He, um, drinks tea. Jamie? Dinner's ready. Jamie. His new name's Bike. 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 Oh, I suppose it's not too bad. What about you, Katie? Do you have a new name? Sass. Oh. From Sassafras. That's very pretty. Jamie! I'll go get him. Hey, time to eat. Mr. David. Um, call me Martin. Martin, how's the study going? Those devils giving you much trouble. No, not too much trouble. I'm getting... Oh, Katie, that's disgusting. Sorry. He likes it stronger. Oh, like Jarrah. My husband only liked tea if it was the colour of rust. Have you read his book? No, I haven't, but it's on the top of my list. Run and get Daddy's book. What are they teach in zoology these days, Martin? Same stuff. Hasn't changed much in the past ten years. 
Do you know Jude Morris? He's from your neck of the woods. Uh, Columbia, right? I couldn't find it. I'm finished. Can you tell us the story? Matt and I, we just have to have a little chat after that. You promised. After Come we've on. had our talk. Katie says that you washed me in the bath. The children helped. I am not a bad mother. I... It's just hard. What are those speakers in the trees up there? Um, Jara, he wanted to have concerts up here when he first moved. We had this idea that everyone could gather here, artists, scientists, townspeople, like a little Woodstock. Yeah, he had lots of ideas. Too many. Too many to hold in his head at once. We're lucky Jack sent you.
everybody. This is Martin David. Like I told you. Hello. What happened to your eye? Ah, caught a stick in it. Gorgeous. Where's your mother? She's inside. Kitchen. What's going on? We having a little wood stuff? You're back. <gasps> your eye. Oh, God, what happened? It's fine. Come and sit down. Sit down. Mm. Oh. It's not too deep. We got a moratorium for the logging on the forest down the road. Forestry aren't allowed to touch it for six months. Not until there's a complete ecological survey. We're celebrating. They're friends of yours? I helped them with their proposal. Interpreted some of their research. I was doing my PhD in plant science when I met Jara. Ecophysiology. You look different. Oh, this year I had it done in town. Do you like it? I liked it better before. <laughs> this has all the signs of a tiger kill. She eats the heart first. And this is the cave. She's been there. She probably has dens all around the area, and she moves between them, but sooner or later, she'll move back here. I wonder if she's the last one, alone, just hunting and killing, waiting to die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, that was pretty good. Oh, mommy! It's a good one. I'm going to show you my better one. OK. I'll show you my better yeah. one. All right. Yeah! yeah. Like we're Cartwheeling. Okay, ready? Or maybe screaming. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Come on. We won't tell the university. <laughs> no. Thanks, I'm fine. Guess you'll be heading home soon since you got what you wanted. Nah. Got offered a job, him and me. Working for the government. Searching for tigers. National Parks found a footprint. Shh. That's fucking top secret. And we know the area, so... There's no tigers up there. You don't know that. You only know what they want you to know. Mm, here we go. You'd be sitting on a pile of money if you found my man, I'm telling you. You're cloning and shit. You're a scientist. What would you do if you found a tiger? Not my field. Yeah, I just point his nose due west and tell him to run like the wind. <laughs> That's what Jarrah would have done. Isn't that right, Luce? Making tea, would you like some? No, thank you. You sure? No, I'm gonna turn in. I gotta go back up early tomorrow morning. Sorry about tonight. I 
Do you think those people have something to do with your, your husband? Oh, no. They're, they're angry, they're out of work, but they wouldn't hurt us. I mean, their kids go to school with my kids. Jarrah thought that somebody was following him, though. Not one of the locals. Well, if not them, who? My husband pissed off a lot of people. Did you tell the police? Yeah, they said there was no evidence. No uh, body. Besides, they knew Jarrah, his theories, what he was like, so. Do you believe someone was following him? I believe he believed it. How's it going, Mr. Mendy? Hey, you had a bit of trouble up at the house last night. Everything's under control. Maybe I should talk to the university and find you somewhere else to live, somewhere with fewer distractions. Lucy's better. She's off the pills. The kids are fine, too. I don't think you need to come around so much. This is uh, Jack Mendy from Tasmania. Yes, Jack. You said to call if there was any problems. Go on. Well, this scientist of yours, he's, he's becoming a problem.
Beer, please. Didn't think you'd be back in here. Lunch up there with all your other grainy mates, huh? I know what you're up to, mate. No fucking town knows about it. It's a bloody waste of taxes. You and that fucking Armstrong bitch deserve each other. Oh, fuck. Let him go! Ah, fuck. Okay. Oh boy. My dad was gonna fix those. You're just helping them out while he's away. Can I help too? Sure. Thanks. Cool. What kind of work was your husband doing up there? <laughs> I don't know if you call it work. Was he working for Redleaf? I saw their name on the back of some of the drawings on the fridge. I thought he burnt it all. He got very paranoid about them. Why? He was hunting a tiger up there. He told me that the tiger had some unique toxin to paralyze its prey. 
And that red leaf wanted to own it. The DNA. Jara was trying to stop them. It's probably better off extinct. If it's alive, people will always want to find it. Hunt it down. Mom? I can't sleep. What's the matter, Katie? I'm scared and I want to sleep in your bed with you. Okay, I'm coming. Listen, if it's a nice day tomorrow, you want to go on a picnic? Yeah. Good night. Because I don't even know what a chook is. Chooks? The chickens! <laughs> oh my lord, look at your face. Uh, are you sure you want to be seen with us? <laughs> Excuse me. What are you doing? I have to go back up. I have to finish my work. I have no choice. Well, what about the kids? These are my coordinates. If I'm not back in 12 days... Don't bother.
down on your knees, face away from me. Where's the cave? What cave? Oh! Hands by your side, palms up. Where is the cave? Up there. How far? Two hour climb. You're going to take me there. Let's go. Uh, I can't navigate like this.
Jack! You stay there. You stay there. Don't you make me. Where are they? It was an accident. Police said it was an accident. All the candles and lanterns opened fire up at that place. It was bound to happen sooner or later. Where are they now, Jack? Lucy and the girl, they're dead. They're, they're dead. And the boy? They took him away. I couldn't look after him, not at my age. I'll find him a place somewhere good. Was someone paying you to follow me, to keep an eye on me? Oh, I thought you were a scientist like Jarrah. No one was paying me. You should never have come here. What did you tell him, you idiot? They sent someone to replace me. They'll send someone to replace him, and they'll keep on sending people until they get what they want.
What you want is gone forever. Don't bother looking for me. I'm going to see the sights.